Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to launch a new series on this channel called How to Get a Data Analyst Job. I want you to think of this series as a personal mentoring journey between you and I, and we're gonna start by assessing where you currently stand in terms of skills and learning style. And as we progress through each episode, we're gonna continuously refer back to these initial insights that we're gonna to find today to help you tailor your approach to getting a data analyst job. As I mentioned, in today's session, we're gonna dive into the skills and learning style assessment. And this is a crucial first step in understanding your unique strengths and areas for growth. And in our future upcoming episodes, we're gonna explore other topics such as educational pathways and essential data analyst skills. So we're gonna to try to align educational choices that you can make and skill development with your personal strengths and areas for improvement. Data analysis tools and portfolio development. So here we're gonna focus on tools and portfolio strategies that complement your unique skill set and learning style. Understanding the data analyst job market today. So we're gonna look at the market, interpret some trends, some opportunities, and try and connect those to your skills and aspirations. Applying and interviewing for data analyst roles. So your application and interview strategies, we're gonna try to adjust those based on your self-assessment and the results from that. And the final episode is about about starting your career as a data analyst. This is a special bonus segment and the goal here is to figure out with some of our learnings from the assessment how to maximize your success in the early stages of your data analyst career. I highly encourage you guys to actively participate. Grab the Excel spreadsheet that is linked in the description and let's figure out how to tackle some of these questions together. So here you guys can see the assessment that I want you guys to take. Now the purpose again is to map out some of your strengths and some of your weaknesses and we're going to use that insight that we get out of this for the rest of this series so let's start i'm going to take you guys through this i'm going to fill out some of the ratings that i would i would give and then let's see how this develops as we go now so the first page is a skill assessment and the second page is on learning style assessment so let's start with the skill assessment and you can see here, you know, you have the different type of stuff we're assessing. You know, is it technical? Is it theory? Is it more soft skills? And then you have a specific area. So there are quite a few questions. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to read through them and, you know, you can follow along. And then, you know, I recommend, you know, download the spreadsheet and do this with me. Um, the first one is I understand the core concepts and techniques of data analysis. And, you know, one to five, I'd say I understand that fairly well. And what happens is you're going to add a rating. And then when you go to data, you're gonna go refresh all, and then it will start to populate um, some, some stuff here. And you'll soon start to see visualizations down here based on, on your skills. And you'll get an idea of you know, where your strengths are and also where are some of your, of your weaknesses. Um, I can explain the data analysis process from data collection to interpretation. Yes, um, I'm familiar with the ethical considerations in data analysis. Um, I would say, uh, you know, we can go one, two, two to five. I would say I'm a four. Um, I can identify appropriate data analysis methods. Uh, once again, refresh all. And now you're gonna see that there's gonna start to, to become some, some, some mapping in the graph also. This is a spider chart. And I'll show you guys what it looked like when we're, when we're fully done. Um, so I'm going to continue filling this out. And just for the sake of it, let's refresh again. You can see the, you, you'll see at the end where my strengths are and where my weaknesses are. So what happens is, you know, you fill this out. There are some skill areas, some types, which says a little bit about, you know, where are you? And where are you strong and where are you maybe not that strong? And, you know, don't, you know, don't get worried about, worried about this or, you know, think too much about it. It's just to kind of get it down on the paper and start to, you know, develop a feel for where you are so that you can start to navigate. Because it's a lot easier to navigate when you know where you are. Visualization, a lot of the stuff that is close to the to the end user I'm quite good at. But then when we go into statistics, programming, machine learning, and the more theory behind that, that that's not where my strong suit is. I've been in machine learning projects and we have applied a lot of this, but I wasn't the one that you know tweaked the, the machine learning models to increase the, increase the what we call the accuracy or, or, or these kind of things. I would maybe oversee it, I would be part of the project, 
help figure out you know some of the parts but not like super super on a theoretical detail level so that's why i score low there i also score higher therefore on soft skills and technical and, and lower on theory um, so that's the first page that's the skill assessment page so take that remember you know if nothing populates click refresh all and it recalculates all the elements in the in the spreadsheet um, the second tab is the learning style assessment and the purpose is that you know as you try to get a a job you know you want to know um, you know where am i skill wise and also what way do i enjoy learning and then we're, we're going to try and find a intersection between these two to to make like i said some the decisions and, and connect some dots in the future episodes um, so here we have some different paths and, and areas so we have education path preferences and we have scheduling and time management um, so let me fill this out from my perspective and then we can go through it So then this is going to give you a, a rating and then you can see, you know, which path according to these questions aligns the most with you. So I got bootcamp slash self-study or self-study bootcamp or degree bootcamp self-study or degree or degree bootcamp. There's some different mix, mixes here um, between uh, paths that you can take. So I really score high on either bootcamp or self-study or self-studying. And, and, and that does make sense and it also made sense when I started out. If I had known from the beginning that this is what I want to get into, maybe I would have done a degree because then I had that time. But I had a high degree of self-study. I never took a boot camp, but maybe looking back at it, I would have um, different factors. Same thing here, fill out the different rate, ratings, save your document, you know, make sure you refresh, take some time and then you know, take in what is it that you're, you're learning from this. You'll also see that throughout this series, I'm going to try and challenge you guys a little bit with some reflective questions. And you know, it's, it's to make you guys think and start to connect some dots and start to formulate, formulate answers that I think is useful to have, you know, practiced and thought about it a little bit uh, as you move forward in this journey of trying to get a data related job. Um, it can be good for interviews when you meet people, when you interact with people that you have thought about some of these things to give it a little bit more substance and, and just, to have an idea of why you are you are doing this um, so in this episode you know what motivated you to consider a career in data analysis which skills do you currently possess that will help you in data analysis and what gaps in your skill set do you need to address to become a data analyst so i think you should take you know take a couple minutes answer each one maybe write it down or imagine yourself in a setting where you're explaining it to a friend or a family or an interview or whatever it is to start to think about these these questions also and that wraps up our journey through the skills and learning style assessment in today's episode we've covered some essential topics and understanding where your strengths lie and what other areas you might want to focus on as you pursue a career in data analysis if you haven't already then you know once again download the excel spreadsheet linked in the description fill it out and then reflect on your findings i'd love to hear about your goals and insights in the comments below don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Your support means that I can continue providing valuable guidance on the path to becoming a data analyst. Thank you guys for joining me today. Keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.